Hello and welcome everyone on YouTube, Variety Stick, and we back again for another video. And today's video, I do have the Moto E5 Plus. This phone available through Metro by T-Mobile and T-Mobile, some other carriers as well. So if you have this phone and you have the issue where you can't log into your Gmail account, either you forget your Gmail account, and when you do the factory set, you can't go any further so in this video i want to show you step by step how we can bypass the gmail account so without any further ado let's <laughs> Now just before we begin, I want to pay your attention, I don't intend to make this video for people find or stole phones. If you do, please bring it back to the owners. Uh, this video is specifically made for people seriously have issues in the Gmail account and they can bypass the Gmail account. And let me begin with a problem over here, as you guys can see, I can bypass unless if I have you know, the Gmail account that was already on the phone sync, which is I don't know. Just make sure you need to be connected to Wi-Fi and you need to go back to the, uh, the start screen. So go ahead and just hit back. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. You have to have source of the internet in this point. So let's go ahead and go back. There you go, so we back to the main screen. So all you have to do, press on vision settings. And you need to go to talk back. And you need to enable the talk back. Just go ahead and... Talk back on. Now talk the talk back is a screen reader primarily for people with blindness and low vision. Now it the talk back is enabled on the phone. We need talk to use gestures. Real. So the gestures has to be L letter. Just start from the top, go to the down. Scrolling, scrolling forward and backward. There we go. Global so you will menu. see this screen. Now what we need, we need to tap on text, text settings. settings and tap double tap. To double tap. Top there we go. Now what I need from you because the talk back is uh, very interrupting over here. So we have the volume up and down key. Just go ahead and press. And this message is going to be over here. So use shortcut and we'll should. And now one more time, volume down and volume up. And finally the sound for the talk back is actually muted. Now go ahead and press in the gear button over here on the top and then you have to go to feedback and then you will have something where you can write. For instance, let's write youtube.com and you need just to double tap and that should see YouTube. So go ahead and press on YouTube and it should take you to YouTube. Just you can say not now. There you go. Now on YouTube, you will see on the top, this actually uh, icon in the top, just go ahead and click on this one and then press on terms and privacy policy. And that should take you to a Chrome, so go ahead and hit next and say no thanks. Now once you are on the, uh, the, the Chrome, I want you just to tap this right to the top. It will be V N R O M by Bass. There you go. And there is a three main files you need to download. That should be the first website you see. So go ahead to this one. There you go. So what we need first of all, we need the Android 6 J A M. So go ahead and click on that one and download. Just say allow for the first time and then download. And the second application you will need, it will be the, uh, that one, just make sure it's downloaded. And you need the quick share, but before that one, you will need also the FRB by Bass. So go ahead and click this one. It might take some time to download. There you go, so the first one, 
go ahead hit ok don't open and the other one you say ok and you need the quick shortcut maker so go ahead and click on quick shortcut maker and download and Okay, and then open. Then go to settings and allow from this source. And then just go back and install the quick short cut maker and open. Now you need to go to Motorola Launcher. So let's go ahead and search for the Moto Launcher. So we find Moto. Let's search on the launcher, Moto Launcher. Hit the app and say, or hit on try. So the phone should take you to the main screen. We did not bypass the Gmail account. We still need a few steps. Now what we need, we need to go find the file manager because we have downloaded three applications if you guys can remember. So the first one you will need to, it will be the Google account manager. So go ahead and install this one in your phone and make sure hit done and then you need the FRB bypass so go ahead and install this one as well this one you have to open and once you open it will tell you retype the password so now you don't have password you don't have anything on the phone so go browser and sign in and then hit ok now in this screen what you need to do you need to a login with any other Gmail you know so you have to have a Gmail account and you should also know the password for this reason I'm going to just use my other email so I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this I'm not going to show you my email and uh, let me just uh, and then after that I will hit sign just give me one moment now once you are log in with any other Gmail account that you should know, they will take you back to the screen. Now what you need to do, you just need to go back to the settings and make sure your email uh, that you just log in on the phone. So go to user and account owner and make sure. So here's my email, it's already on the phone. After you make sure your email on the phone, just go ahead and restart your phone. Just make regular restart. So let's restart and come back. Now after restart, just go ahead and let's go and then sign as new and then accept and continue and that will tell you the email we just logged in, it's already added on the phone so go ahead and hit next. There are few other things need to be done and then you will be 100% uh, will be uh, able to remove that gmail account was on the phone and you should be able to use your phone as normal let's give this a second to say no thanks set you can do whatever you want so go ahead and hit next i would say no thanks okay so you, you just must agree right now or skip everything try and just to make that video quick as possible now from here what you have to do because you've used other email you have maybe you want to create a new email just to make sure that the whole phone is completely clear out of your gmail account here what you can do you can go back to the settings and you can go to account user and the same email you log in is still on the phone so go ahead and click on this one and remove account that should be clear out of your phone so here's what you have to do will be the last step to do go to system and you will have to go to reset and factory data reset because now there is no gmail account i have already uh reset the phone so go ahead and factory reset and we're gonna let the phone make reset and we will come back to you to show you that your phone is 100 percent clean of your gmail account or the previous gmail account one sync and you don't know this gmail account now the phone just finished the factory reset so just go ahead and try and skip everything this time and log into your phone so as you guys can see there's no gmail or whatsoever in the phone so go ahead and just re-log in with your gmail and next time
try not to forget your Gmail on the phone. That will save you a lot of hustle. So go ahead and just hit next. And as you guys can see, there is no Gmail account on this phone anymore. And that was very much it. I wish you guys found this video helpful. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Variety Stick for more videos like this. Thank you so much again for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next video.